All right, guys, I'm back, and I, I know I've been uh, away for a little bit, but here I am with something new and cool to look at. Something relatively new from Off Grid Knives, which you should know if you've been around this channel for a while, one of my favorite companies. So take a look, we've got the Badger EDC. And, oh. So inside we've got Off Grid sticker. We've got some big Off Grid pamphlet that talks all about the whole Off Grid family um, and different stuff there. And we've got this knife so nicely packed in this foam. Now, this guy has a little bit of weight to it, which I like. Um, it's small, you know, it's, it's a small knife. It's an EDC size knife. But relative to its size, you've got um, kind of a, a chunky steel blade here, um, you know, made for, for strength and stability. You've got FRN scales, so plastic scales, uh, but nice texturing to give you a, a pretty good grip. You've got a reversible clip for left and right tip-up carry. Comes deep carry out of the box. Um, kind of, you know, new trend, those short deep carry clips. But deep carry is better than not deep carry as far as I'm concerned. Comes set up for right hand flipper. It has what they call the grid lock which it gridlock get it uh -huh. which is kind of a safety lock um, once it's opened up you can uh, push it and it prevents the knife from from closing even if you try to close the liner lock on it. Um, it you know just an added safety feature there you can choose to use it or not nice easy deployment there uh, and you'll notice no spring okay just great engineering bearings and detent is what makes this thing fly out the way it does so take a look at the action here's a light switch flip which you know action is great um, here is a push button also great so no matter how you personally like to deploy your your flipper activated knives it works very very well i'm kind of i'm kind of a a light switch flipper type dude myself you've got a d2 steel blade with a really, really nice stone wash finish on it. Um, I'm really a fan of the way that they do it at Off Grid. I always like a nice stone wash. Not a lot of billboarding there. You've got your steel type on one side and you've got a small Off Grid logo on the other. Um, you know, I, now, normally, well, I don't know. Let me back up and not even say normally. Lately, I've been more into some smaller knives. Uh, you know, I used to really not like small knives with my big hands. But there have been some lately that have just, they fit decently. And this one fits better than decently. Um, Off-grid designs are, they're really good. Uh, Carrie, the owner and designer of Off-grid, um, he, he really put some good thought into all his designs. This fits well, feels nice, even with large hands. You've got some jimping, and I'll be honest, this jimping could be a little bit more aggressive, um, give you a slightly better lock there, but it's good jimping on the thumb ramp over there. You've got, like I said, this kind of relatively chunky drop point blade, which is really good sized for EDC type stuff. Um, but you know, the, the D2 steel, the size and strength of the blade means that if you wanted to with this grid lock there you could use this and and i know uh, you know uh, this is an extreme example but you know if you had some hard use stuff to do if this was the only knife you had with you you could you could make do with this you could um ruggedly use this if you had to um so here's the grid lock again and it will not let you press that liner lock in so it gives you that like i said added safety feature um, because we have that i'm not going to do the standard lock test because you know you don't really need to, but out of the box, centering is perfect. Uh, great lockup sound too. Excellent finishing on the blade there. I zoomed in a little bit just to get you a close up look without shadows from the camera on it.
because this has a relatively simple construction here with just some thin FRN plastic type scales, uh, no spring or anything to mill out for, uh, it'd be a nice platform to put some custom scales on if you wanted to. Um, you have that option. The blade also, uh, if you wanted to Cerakote this or put something on the blade too, you've got a lot of space on that for it. So if you wanted something in a, in a mid price range that you could personalize pretty nicely, this would work for that too. It is, again, like, you know, I love off-grid and I want to I wanna say nothing but nice things, but I have to be honest. It, it is getting to that flipper with the small size. It It is not the most comfortable knife in the world. It's not terrible, but uh, if you have big hands, um, you can get used to it, but it does, it does feel a little bit different just because of the small size there. Obviously, you can see I'm not having big problems with it or whatever, but... Um, the more you do it, the easier it is. But it does it does feel a little bit weird to position your hands um, in that proximity to to get to the flipper. Uh, but that's the only. I mean, mechanically, it is perfect. That's the only thing um, that I can think of. You know, looking for faults with this thing. That's all I can. That's all I can find. So. The Badger, another great addition to the uh, off-grid knives lineup. You can uh, find them on Amazon. You can get them from the off-grid website, and, and they have some great shipping deals on the off-grid website and everything. Um, you know, So you can check it out there. Uh, I'll put a link in the video description directly to the off-grid website. Um, I believe, and you know, I'm sorry if I misquote here, but uh, free two-day shipping if you buy directly from Off Grid, which is pretty good. I know that uh, a lot of folks out there are Amazon Prime members, where you get that free two-day shipping. Not everybody is though, so there's another you know option to to get it quickly. I've gotten a lot of comments from people that have watched videos, um, seen Off Grid, and then have have picked one up and have been really happy with it the reason that i really like to promote them is because i i know the owner and i've spoken with him and he has taken some some input and some constructive criticism and and has never had an attitude about it and has always said like yes please you know tell me how i can make my brand better he's one of those kinds of guys i really respect that and again i'm telling you telling you that so that you know you guys know i'm always being 100 percent open and honest with you about where i'm coming from when I when I'm looking at stuff, um, he sends me samples to look at. Sometimes pre-production, sometimes in production. But I just I love the stuff that he produces, and I think it's a really good quality product, and it's uh, it's money well spent. What do you guys think of this design of the brand in general? Um, folks who have tried out stuff from Off Grid Knives before, you have, you have, you know things to say, positive or negative. Um, about your experience with the products, please feel free to comment. I've been I've been quiet on the channel for a week or two, but I will get back into the swing of it. And in the meantime, I hope you guys missed me. But remember, you are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you, and I will, for real, be back again real soon.